a brand as big as JBL, who's known the world over for their performance in professional arenas. But did you know that they are hardcore invested into marine audio as well? Well, today we've got their product expert, Jeffrey Fay in the studio with us, and we're going to show you guys exactly how committed JBL is to the marine audio category. This is CMA Networks presented by Sirius XM, all about JBL Marine Audio. And it starts now. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to another CMA Networks presentation here, all about JBL in the marine audio space. Listen, I know what you guys are thinking, you know, the, the brands being out there, they're so, you've sold their car audio, but I gotta say, with the recent um, energy and resurgence of design that JBL has undergone, it's pretty interesting to see what they've come up with from a design perspective, and I'm pretty amped to go through the entire line today. Now, Jeff, let's start off with a quick breakdown, you know, it's funny because from what I understand, JBL somewhat pioneered this category in marine audio. So I'd like to hear from you what that connection is and where does it sit now with its commitment to marine audio? Well, JBL has more than 75 years of making incredible audio, right? We, we, we do theaters, stadiums, houses of worship, concerts, and boats. Actually, Harmon helped to create the marine environment, the whole marine audio wave of the 80s, 90s, uh, early 2000s. But we kind of uh, lost our way. Maybe we lost our navigational uh, north star in that space. And I'm here to tell you that we're back in a big way. Um, you know, we, we, we were the first innovators. We made the first tower speakers under the Infinity brand, the first PA audio systems uh, in that space. And of course, we've been doing that for uh, the aftermarket as well as the OEM level for uh, boats and yachts for many years. But we put together a video to really showcase some of the highlights of JBL's 75 years of business. So let's roll the video. Let me tell you about a legend, a legend in sound. I'm talking about a real dance crazing, room shaking, volume raising, certified legend that goes by the name of JBL. JBL's been off the charts for over 75 years, creating the world's most unforgettable moments in sound. I mean, they were live at Woodstock in front of 400,000 fans and 400 shotgun weddings to follow. <laughs> From innovating the way sound was brought to movies to revolutionizing sound in gaming, this audio icon has done it all. No venue is too big or too small. They built the Grateful Dead's epic wall of sound with 600 speakers and sold out stadiums worldwide, all while keeping Sophia's 14th birthday party from being rained out. They're even the sound of the Grammys every single year and have won one themselves. JBL's been a legend in sound for over 75 years, collaborating with artists all around the world and amplifying the voices that really need to be heard. There's only one JBL off the charts for 75 years and still counting. Well, Jeff, thanks for that history lesson, and there's no doubt we've got a jam-packed show for everybody today. But first, we want to take a moment to give a shout-out to our sponsor, SiriusXM, a quick word from them. And when we come back, we're going to dive right into the full category lineup of Marine Audio from JBL. Hey, guys, Ricky Lima here from SiriusXM. I had a chance to speak to some dealers and ask them what they love about selling SiriusXM. Here's what they had to say. Coast-to-coast -coast coverage. I love SiriusXM for commercial-free music. It's a great add on sale and a profit opportunity. We love selling Sirius XM because you can listen to the same channel coast to coast. Profitability and ease of installation. It's a no brainer. We love selling Sirius XM for its ease of installation, great profitability and reliability. People love it. Well, without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's start by identifying exactly what the overall offering is from the entire JBL lineup in Marine Audio. Sure. So at Harman, we offer 
Marine in, in a few different brands. One, of course, is the iconic JBL. A second is Infinity, which of course got its uh, roots in aerospace engineering. The third, of course, is Harman Kardon, and we use that in the OEM platform. But what's really great is that we are able to leverage both the aftermarket and our OEM expertise to bring everything from head units in the marine space, uh, DSP, amplifiers, speakers, powered uh, speakers like our new rally bar, uh, tower speakers like our new Tower X, and of course, subwoofers, really the whole gamut. So from, from bow to stern, we have it all. But I think what's really important is the way we approach bringing new products to market. It's easy to come to market as a Me Too brand and just you know slap your name on something that doesn't necessarily meet the requirements of the environment, the customer, or really the use case. So we really focus on three key foci. Number one, we believe we shop with our eyes first. If we don't think that uh, you know that's a good looking car driving down the road, you're not gonna care about it, right? You're not gonna figure out what kind of car that was. You just don't care. So we shop with our eyes. So we wanna make products that look amazing, whether those are online, in store, in a boat, anywhere we engage with them on social media, et cetera. We have to engage with that product mentally with our eyes. It's something that gravitates, uh, brings us to it, right? So then second, of course, our heritage. You saw the video of JBL, 75 years of heritage uh, of sound, right? And, and so it's all about shopping with our ears. We know we have to build a product that looks great, but also has to outperform our competitors. And I think that's really our hallmark, building unbelievable sounding products. Thirdly, we have to make sure that we're focused on the, the value of that product. So we shop with our eyes, we listen with our ears, and now we really are engaged, but it has to be a value proposition that resonates with not only the dealer, but also the consumer. And I think when you look at the way we address use case in all of the products that we build in this space, I think we've got a one, two, three punch, and it's gonna be a knockout this season for JBL Marine. Well, let's start with a big one and a big one indeed. We're gonna get into a big category, quite literally called tower speakers. And in JBL, it's all about the Tower X series. So we have a full offering in tower speakers, but our brand new monster is the Tower X 10. This is a beast. This is uh, our Tower X 10. It's a true 10 inch sub. And of course we're bringing heritage that we've, we've really owned and, and embraced for more than 75 years. And that's our, our horn compression tweeter inside. And in fact, that horn compression tweeter that you see inside here, that's a one and three eighths inch tweeter, but everybody looks at our logo sometimes and says, oh, it's like an exclamation point, right? But actually it's the horn compression driver and then the horn itself. So this is the compression driver and then the horn across the V there. That's really a, a kind of a, a, an Easter egg for one of our, our, our product lines there. But what do we do with the Tower X? Well, of course, we make them in a six inch, an eight inch, and a 10 inch. They're full 360 degree swivel that's removable. So if I wanna store them in the winter, I can do that. You'll note on the top, we've got a really great um, disconnect. Uh, it's a, it's a, a Deutsch connector on the top, which is wireless or a wired uh, RGB, as well as, as uh, just having a great cosmetic. We've got this kind of turbo, uh, fan uh, kind of uh, turbine look on the back. And then I think just a really gorgeous look on the front uh, with our RGB illumination. I think these are gonna be a big hit. Um, we've got them in three different sizes, six inch at uh, $6.99. We've got the eight inch at $8.99. And of course the behemoth, the new Tower X10 at $14.99 a pair. Jeff, those are truly impressive looking speakers, but let's take a minute and dive a little deeper and uncover some of these unique features that really make the Tower X speakers stand above the rest. Yeah, I think one of the really cool things that we did when we were thinking about this product is understanding the true use case, right? It's easy to slap a six inch or an eight or even a 10 uh, into a, 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 a pod and mount it to your tower, but that really doesn't solve the real problem, right? What customers want is to be able to hear the music clearly back on the rope, whether that's behind the boat scurfing or whether that's way back wakeboarding or skiing. And of course, they always want it louder. And the reason for that is conventional designs point that speaker basically perpendicular to the boat. And when the boat is on plane, 
that boat is typically up at about 9.75 degrees. So when that perpendicular speaker goes from this to this on plane, now the sound of that speaker is actually hitting the water typically in front of that skier. Worse than that is that, of course, mama always likes to sit in the back of the boat. And now if I'm jamming those tunes and I keep turning it up higher and higher, of course, she's sitting in the back and her hair is on fire because of that compression tweeter or all that bass energy. But it's still missing the intended target, which is the skier back on the rope. So how do we solve that? Well, first, I think there might have been a beer bar napkin uh, with some design elements on there. But what we did was we took the speaker, the plane of the speaker, and we towed it back about 9.75 degrees. So now when the boat is on plane, the speaker is actually pointed back about 34 feet at six feet off of the water so that it hits the rider in the ears. So we used basic geometry, geometry to do this, but it's a really simple premise. The great thing is that geometry still works if I'm 12 feet behind the boat scurfing or if I'm 33 feet back on the, on the, the tow rope. So now we can turn up the music, get it to the intended target, which is the person on the rope because of this scallop design, as well as this little flange on the bottom. This helps to kind of direct the music back out the back end of the boat and keep it from penetrating people's faces and melting their face off in the back of the boat. So we call this our on-plane imaging technology. It's a patented design. We have several patents on these new products, but I think what I really love about them is just the waterproof, rugged design, right? Of course, 250-watt RMS rating on this bad boy. Um, we've got clamps that go from bars from 1.75 to 3-inch, and that works on the 6-inch, the 8-inch, and the 10. They come, of course, with a neoprene bag to keep the bugs off the beautiful front. Um, I think it's just an unbelievable family of products, and I think you're really going to love them. But my favorite part of all about this new 10 is, unlike our competitors who claim a 10-inch, they're really using a 9-inch driver with a 10-inch housing. We actually have a true 10-inch sub, and we still maintain that small, compact design. So Tower X, whole new family. I think you're really going to dig them. Well, let's quickly move on to another very important category. Of course, we're talking about full range speakers. Now, there is a line from JBL that truly performs. And again, it's loaded with very unique features that I want you to tell everybody about. And it's called the Stadium Series. So the stadium design or stadium family of marine speakers from JBL come in two different colors. Here you'll see the uh, kind of titanium gray. And then we have also obviously a pure white finish. But we have several patents and design patents on these products. And I want to showcase a few of those. First, I think that when we talk about our eyes, these are just a gorgeous looking product. You'll see this perimeter edge lighting that's integrated into the basket, but it's also still maintains that thin profile. I really love that about these things. I also love the spoke design. Of course, this is an eight inch three way. This is actually a three and a half inch uh, coax in the center with an eight inch driver around the outside. We offer these products in both white and gray, but in three different sizes, a six and a half inch, the eight and a half inch three way component, as well as a 10 inch sub with SSI, which we'll talk about in a sec. Let's first talk about this really, really cool uh, component design. So what this is designed to do is it comes with this cool little tool. I can unscrew the, uh, the, the, the three and a half inch pod, and now I can pop it out of the eight inch basket. When it's mounted in this configuration, the speaker wire is inside here. Now it's tucked away out of the way for uh, the, uh, the mounting around the belt line. But now I can take this little grill, this little replacement, pop it in there and make a nice clean cosmetic. But now you're saying, Jeff, okay, what do I do with that cool two and a half or three and a half inch three way, right? So now I take this little uh, mounting adapter bracket. I simply cut a hole in the side of the boat, the belt line of the boat or up on the dash or somewhere I want to raise that image in that sound stage. And I, I simply mount this just like a job box for an electrical work. So once you put that inside the hole, then these tabs come out and now it, it cinches itself up against the fiberglass. Whether it's really thick fiberglass or thin fiberglass, at any application, it's ready to go. So now I drop my speaker in there and now I've got a cool little trim ring. And it makes for a great uh, blooper reel. 
but when I don't drop it, it, it looks really cool uh, in the side of the boat. And now I've got a way to bring up my soundstage and my imaging right in line with my ears. What's also neat is I told you before that the speaker wire was connected on the inside here in the, when it's in OAX or triaxial mode. But when I put it inside the boat in a component configuration, my connection starts here behind the basket. And of course, that's where our crossover network is mounted in the backside of the basket. You'll see all of these have RGB four wire conductors. So it works with seven different colors out of the box, but is also equally capable of working with somebody's uh, light, light caster um, of any sort. So a really strong product offering, unbelievable bass response, but now with that ability to drive the mid bass around the, where the factory speakers are typically lo loaded at your ankles, and then bring in that component sound up above near the belt line to really give you a great quality sound. So these are the all new stadium uh, marine speakers in gray. Again, the perimeter R RGB lighting. I think you're really gonna love these. Wow, what a great design, especially on that eight inch speaker. Very, very impressive, but make no mistake, this series is a complete series and does include a subwoofer option. Is that not a fact, Jeff? So just like all the speakers in the Stadium Marine Series line, they're built for really great sound quality, uh, whether that's the 6, the 8, or the 10. Now, I don't happen to have the 10 here, but I'll use it kind of this 8-inch as an example. One of the things that we know that consumers, they don't always know exactly what they want in their boat when they first buy uh, an audio system, right? Sometimes they say, oh my God, I, I gotta have a ton of bass. And so that you, you might build a system around say four tens or more likely they'll start with one ten and recognize that wherever that boat, that, that sub is located in the boat, it sounds fantastic, but it might not carry throughout the entire boat because of the way the boat is built. So maybe in a, in a cutty ca cabin cruiser kind of thing, uh, you'll get more boat base up front if the sub is mounted in the bow versus in the stern. So what we've come up with is a really innovative solution. It's a patented technology called Selectable Smart Impedance. That's our SSI technology. And on the subwoofer, there's a switch. That little switch switches between a two ohm load or a four ohm load. It's actually three six ohm voice coils on board, which afford us the ability to really dial in the impedance specifically to the needs of the user. What I love about it is if a customer says, man, I, I really only wanna buy one sub today, Great, you always have the right sub in stock because whether it's a two ohm or a four ohm on that amplifier, you know you've got the only one skew in the box. But what I love even more is when the customer says, okay, I, I didn't believe you. I thought you were just trying to sell me, upsell me on a sub instead of the, the real need for two subs in the boat. I wanna add a second sub. The great news is now I can sell them the exact same sub but instead of running it at a two ohm load to say our mono amplifier, now I can flip the switch to be a four ohm sub, sell them another one, put it at four ohm, and then parallel that down to be a two ohm load at the amplifier, which means the customer's not starting over. They're not throwing away any money at something that they don't need. And more importantly, you've always got the right sub in stock. So we love that one. It's a true free air sub, which means it's designed to play in a baffle, just load it on a baffle and you're done. But of course, if you want to throw it in a sealed box, you know, something around 1.75 would 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 emulate uh, free air with the FS of, on that sub. So I think you're really going to love it and uh, hope you enjoy SSI and the new stadium speakers. Now, there's no question in my mind. These are absolute top of the line options for those that really want the best performance. But, you know, it's not always that customer that dealers get. Is there a more, shall we say, price conscious lineup that dealers can dig into and offer their clientele? You know, we make entry-level speakers in our stage family under the JBL brand, but now we also make club speakers, which are a, a step between the stadium at the premium price point down to a very, very affordable price point in our club speakers. And let me just show you, I think it's a gorgeous looking product, right? It's uh, got this nice, subtle spoke design, but it's got a really cool uh, aesthetic. The badges are uh, come out of the box and we, we offer them in two different colors in silver and in gray, or rather orange and in, in silver, so that you can match them to the white grill. But what's even cooler is it also comes with a gray grill in the box. So now the entire family, which is uh, four different SKUs in the lineup, we have a six inch, we have an eight inch, which I'll show you in a second. And then of course we have a 10 inch and a 12 inch subwoofer. All of them share this beautiful cosmetic. All of them offer RGB lighting with 
four wire RGB conductors with the little square plug. Um, but some of the things that I think we did here that are really neat is one, you'll notice it's a really clean look at this 249 price point for a six and a half inch. There's no fasteners visible. The reason for that is this guillotine or, or, or kind of bayonet lock um, grill design. We put a, a, an indicator so you know which way to, to mount this. But then we've done some really smart things as well. So um, this little neoprene, or, or sorry, a butyl uh, waveguide surrounds the outside of the six inch. That helps us to direct that sound so that it goes through and past the grill. That's really cool. But the fact that the customer can literally just swap the grills out and in no time, I think that's a really, really strong application. When we look at the eight inch speaker, again, that same great looking cosmetic here, we're running it in an RGB red. Uh, of course, the seven different colors out of the box are capable of, like, with the combinations of the wires. But of course, they work with anybody's controllers. The other thing that I really love that we did here is we know that the environment inside of a boat is not necessarily soft surfaces, right? We've got fiberglass, we've got wood, we've got, you know, uh, stainless steel dashes, things like this. We really wanted to make sure that we had a great sound quality. And where our competitors at this price point in particular are using things like an aluminum or a titanium tweeter that can get really harsh, especially as the mid bass and the bass starts to kind of blow out of the boat, that tweeter can get pretty penetrating. So we used a special um, marine coating on a silk dome tweeter to give it that really kind of soft highs, but that make for natural sounding music all the way through the spectrum. And I think that's one really cool aspect. The last part that I really love is just the overall basket design. This is a basket design that, you know, it's super clean, easy to install, but I think looks amazing for a 299 eight inch speaker. And then lastly, the subwoofers, right? So this is the 10 inch sub. Uh, again, that beautiful cosmetic with both grills in the box. We offer this in a 10 and a 12. Uh, great, great reliability. This, this guy starts at 249 and then the 12 inch at 299. So for all four SKUs, you've got a six inch at 249 and then 299 for the eight, a 10 inch at 249 and 299 for the sub. Um, so I think this is a really cool family of products. I think you're really gonna love it. Again, a free air sub application. So just drop it in a baffle and it should be good to go. I think we nailed it with looking great, sounding great and creating a great value proposition at these price points, full RGB. I think you're gonna love them. The all new Club Marine speakers from JBL. Now, what solutions does JBL have for in the amplifier category? And what are some of the key features along with the breakout of models that are available? In my hand, I have the all new JBL Marine amplifiers. This happens to be the smallest platform size of all of them. This is a 600 watt monoblock. We offer two monoblocks, a 600 watt and a thousand watt, which is about that size. But look at the compactness of this little amplifier. It's of course a class D technology. It's of course conformally coated. And of course it has a waterproofing uh, silicone uh, coverings inside to keep it really water resistant, right? From all aspects. But the things I really love about it are the, the, the cosmetics. I think you'll agree that the, the bright white with this gray trim ring is really eye catching. The cool fins on the side. And then, you know, even the back, all of the details that we did on these amplifiers. But I love the fact that all of the controls, rather all of the wires, the RCAs and power inputs and outputs are all on one side. So it makes for a nice clean installation. But the thing that I love the most is the way we've addressed the controls. So there are no game pots, there are no crossover switches exposed where customers can get them. But like on this five channel, when I pop off this cosmetic gray trim ring, then I can slide the cover open. And now I've got all of my game pots, my crossovers, everything is hidden behind that cool little panel. That means that the customers can't get in and mess with the tune that the installer spent a lot of time to do, right? So that I think is, is really what makes these amazing. I think it's a great looking finished product. But let's talk about the value proposition. So when we look at the four amplifiers that we've just launched in the series, uh, and by the way, we've also got these in infinity as well, but 
if you look at a 600 watt monoblock for $349 in the marine space, I think that's kind of unheard of. So I think you've really got an amazing uh, offering here, value proposition, but then consider that the four by 75 is also $349. So now imagine I could build a very easy system um, for around 11 or around a thousand dollars with two uh, four channel by 75 and one monoblock to, to drive eight real speakers with not you know not mixing the stereo uh, together that could be an amazing system for only a thousand dollars with three amplifiers but we've also got the thousand watt monoblock that can also be strapped so two of those could run to i don't know four five eight tens if you wanted to build something crazy but my favorite amp is probably the five channel Again, that's a four by 50 RMS by four, and then a true 500 watt monoblock on the ends uh, uh, for the sub output. So those price points, again, that 600 watt and the four by 75 are 349. Then the five channel, which is really an amazing value at 499. And then the, the big 1000 watt monoblock is also 499. Of course, on all of the amplifiers, because we know we're gonna be running those to free air subs, we have subsonic filters, which means that I'm not going to be tearing up the subs, you know, at those frequencies that like elephants and made at and, you know, alligators talk at. So I think that that's really important to understand. We also, of course, do sustainable packaging on everything we do because we wanna to try to keep the trash out of our clean lakes and our rivers. But uh, I think that's also something that's uh, really, really great about our company, trying to be sustainable for the future. But I think an amazing looking product, great value proposition, great sound quality, the all new JBL Marine Amplifiers. And now, finally, I've been waiting for this one because this one is one of my favorites. Let's talk about this extremely unique product that I feel all dealers need to have a few in stock. And you'll understand why once Jeff explains it. And it's called the Click. The JBL Click is a really simple product but super powerful, not only for its ability to help you, you know, engage with customers, but also because of the way that these should pretty much go with every boat sale you ever do, whether you sell our head unit or not. So what is it? Well, the Click is a Bluetooth low energy remote control. It straps to the steering wheel of your boat, your ATV, your golf cart, your motorcycle, your bike, your e-scooter, your car, your treadmill, your baby stroller, the list goes on. The point is, now what this does is it acts as a remote control for my phone. So how does it work? Well, as you can see on my phone, as I adjust the volume up and down, my phone also adjusts. But maybe when I'm ready to start playing the music, I simply hit the clip and now the music is playing on my phone and I can adjust the volume all hands-free. This works whether or not the phone is connected to a factory head unit in a car, a factory head unit in a boat, my Bluetooth head earbuds from JBL, my Bluetooth party speakers, my Base Pro Go, my Rally Bar, my whatever product the phone is connected to, it allows me to control the volume, the play pause function, track up, track back, uh, pick up a call and hang up a call, on both Android and iPhone. iPhone won't let you pick up a call, but you can certainly hang up the call. So how does it work? Well, it's a Bluetooth low energy uh, remote control device. It comes with a CR2032 battery on board. That little battery lasts approximately 11 months of use. And we put an extra battery in the, in the box because we know you're gonna need something to drive it. Then I strap it to my steering wheel and now it's controlling everything but in a boat, it becomes truly magical. Because the phone can adapt and have many of these devices, like a watch, like a click, like a, a mouse, if you had some sort of projector system uh, going. Because I can use multiples of these on one phone, that means I can use multiples of them in one boat. So here's a perfect example. We always put one on the steering wheel, but then the next thing we do is put one up on the bow on the little chrome rail around the front of the boat. Now I can adjust the music while I'm up there sipping a beer or some wine, but I can also put one back on the swim deck because it's also IP5 rated. So this is a truly amazing product. 
The uses are endless. I love these things. I even put one in my shower on the door handle so I could control my Bluetooth speaker while I was in the shower. This thing is an amazing product for $39.99 US. I think you guys are going to love it. You have to get yourself one. The JBL Click. Well, we've taken the time to show you the entire gamut of product available from JBL Audio, especially in the marine category. That's what we're talking about today. But Jeff, help us summarize now what dealers need to know and why they should seriously consider JBL Marine product as you know a partner moving forward in their marine audio business. So it has been a pretty great journey. Uh, I think we got to share with you all of the amazing new marine products that we offer this year. Well, not quite all, but the ones we're launching just now. So we've got amazing Tower X speakers in the 6, 8, and that awesome Behemoth 10. We've got brand new speakers in the stadium line with that patented perimeter lighting and that unbelievably cool 8-inch three-way component. I love the new club speakers with the removable grills. I think that's an amazing offering and, and really great value at $349 and, and th uh, two, rather two, $249 and $299, respectively. The other thing, of course, that were brought out were all those brand new amplifiers, which are really great, compact, amazing sound quality. But I think the things that are really, truly important about why you should care about JBL is its heritage. It's 75 years of bringing customers unbelievable audio. We're bringing them expertise. You know, James B. Lansing or JBL was the guy that invented audio for movies with the movie Jazz Singer way back in the day. He won an Academy Award for it, right? But it's also about our heritage. You know, the Beatles only recorded all of their music on JBL monitors in studio. The Who only played in front of concerts and stadiums on JBL speakers. I think this is truly part of, a, of our heritage and our history of what makes JBL an awesome brand. Of course, now with, with easy brand activation on the number one share globally in headphones, number one globally share of portable audio, party box, the list goes on and on. It's a great brand. It's something I'm super proud to be a part of, but more importantly, I think we really nailed it. We have great looking products that sound amazing, that really solve problems in the use case for the consumer to bring them real solutions at great values. That's why I love the brand new JBL Marine offerings this year. I think once you check them out, you'll love them as well. And finally, Jeff, who should dealers in Canada reach out to should they want to connect and look into perhaps becoming the newest authorized JBL dealer here in Canada? It's easy. If you're in Canada and you want to find out more about these JBL Marine products, there's one place to go, and that's Ericsson Consumer. Stop by, give them a look. I think you're going to love not only the service they provide, but the products that they offer. Well, there you have it, guys. I want to give a big shout out to Jeff Fay for coming in and talking to us today about JBL Marine Audio. Also, a huge shout out to our Canadian partner, Ericsson Consumer, your authorized distributor for all things JBL in Canada. Make sure you connect with them if you happen to be a retailer in Canada. This has been an amazing ride. We hope you enjoyed that. We showed you all the new products that are out there. And uh, yeah, that's another one for the book. So thanks for tuning in on this CMA Networks presentation, of course, sponsored by SiriusXM. I'm your host, Ben Wu. Until next time, we connect. There's never been a better time to have Sirius XM with over 150 channels in your vehicle. Your Platinum Plan offer includes more than ever before to enjoy online, on your phone, or at home. Create your own ad-free personalized stations powered by Pandora. Hear ad-free extra channels and enjoy favorite shows with Sirius XM video on demand. What you love is on now.